Hi, my name is Paul and in this series of video we will go over the assembly of the dual extruder. I think it's one of the more complex assemblies that, that we've done videos on, but I'm sure if we take it step by step it won't be a problem. Ok, so the first step is to take your laser cut, cut components and remove the laser film on both sides of the, of the components. And also there where, the, where there's still a small pieces of, of perspex in the, in the laser cut components, you can just remove them. Sometimes when you take the film off, the pieces fall out by themselves. So we can do it for all the, the components that they look like, like this at the end. When we are done with Perspex components, the next step will be to assemble the structure to which the hot ends will mount. So for that what we need is the two Perspex components that so looks like this. They are the same. Then the two printed components, black printed components that look like this. The four flanged uh, bearings. And then 12 of the M3 by 16 self-tapping screws. Now we will take the flanged bearings and we will push them into the printed components from the inside. Make sure that there is no pieces of plastic that's sticking out inside the, the hole. And I like to take a, to take sharp nose pliers and push them so that they are flush on the inside and flush on the outside. So then it looks like that. So we can do it for all four. Later on we will take out one of them again to mount one of the screws. But for now we can just pop them in. So the flange is on the inside and they go in then from the, from the inside. There you can see the bearings sits flush on the inside and the outside and now we'll take the Perspex component, it can go on either side and we'll use six of the self-tapping screws for each assembly and we will mount the, the Perspex component onto the, the printed component. So we can do this for all the, the self-tapping screws so that the perspex part are mounted onto the, the printed part. When you are finished the assemblies will look like that with the perspex part securely fastened to the black printed component. And now the next step will be to mount the hot ends to the uh, to these two assemblies. So in your in the standard kit, there's one hot end, and for the other one, you can either use the one that's on your printer, or you can order an additional hot end. And what's important is to make sure that the length is the same. So the one that we use for in in the dual extruder is the E3D version 5 hot end and you can have different size nozzles on them you must just remember to also specify that in your in your slicer settings so now we will take this assembly and we'll take one of the hot ends and you'll see that it slots nicely into that big cutout onto the perspex component and then this one will be will slot in from the the front into that smaller lip that um, is below the, the bigger cutout on the, the top of the hot end. But before we can slide in this, we need to, to put the mounting screws in. 
So at the bottom, you'll see there's two holes with hexagon shape um, cutouts with for the for the lock nuts, and we'll press them into these into these holes to make sure that they won't turn when we assemble the the assembly. So we will press them in that they sit like that. And we'll do it for all for all four of them. So now the nuts are in and we'll take the M3 by 12 screws, we have four of them. We'll put a washer on and we'll turn them that they start to engage into the, the lock nut. You can only turn them in until they reach the, the blue section of the plastic inside the lock nut. And then we'll continue with the assembly. Okay, so now the assembly looks like that. And we'll use these components to mount the, the hot end onto the rest of the assembly. So if you hold it upside down, the washers will fall to the bottom because the washers needs to be pushing onto the Perspex component. And then when we push it in, you'll see that it holds the, the hot end. Now I like to have the wires of the hot end coming out to the one side for the, for the one and to the other side of the, the other one. And that will then also determine later on which one will be left and which one will be right. So while we push it from the top and the bottom, we fix these two M3 screws. And that should secure the, the hot end onto this assembly. And we can do the same for the other one. Okay, when we are finished with that, the two assemblies looks like this. And the hot ends are secured onto the rest of the assembly. And those wires go out to the left and these wires go out to the right. Now we will put these to the side and continue with the top of the, of the extruder.